Hello friends, welcome to another video from the fasting experiment. You'll recall I made a video last time which is uh, part of my podcast. I think it's podcast number 12 which was the introduction to my fasting experiment. This is the second video in that series. Today is um, it's the third day of my fast. Uh, six in the morning uh, earlier today I had finished uh, 48 hours. So I'm going to update you on how I'm feeling. Um, just so that people who are averse to fasting or haven't fasted for an extended period before can get a feeling of what it's like when you actually do it, what you feel like, what the troubles are, and so on. So I'm going to tell you guys uh, about that. Well, yeah, let, let me do that now. So, number one, um, two days ago when I started the fast, I had uh, sort of carb loaded. And then it, because my the point of this fasting experiment is that I'm going to try to fast for longer than I've ever fasted before, which was previously seven days. Not for health reasons, but just so that I have the experience and can can say, oh, I fasted uh, for, you know, longer than seven days, and so that I know what it's like. So anyway, um, so I carb loaded a little bit to have more energy for the, ext- the, for the duration of the fast. My weight was 184 pounds two days ago. Today, my weight is 176 pounds, uh, point something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but It's more around my normal weight. Still, my normal weight would be more like 173 or so. Um, But I think I could have gained some fat in the last few weeks while I was overeating as well. So the weight has uh, come off a bit. Now, if if you weren't carb loading, you would still probably notice... uh, It depends how muscular you are and how much water you carry and your size as well. But you'd still notice... um, quite a few pounds. I mean, usually uh, usually I weigh around 100, between 165 and 175, and usually I lose about five pounds on a five-day fast. Most of it is in the first two days, and then, actually not most, really, you lose quite a, it, the rate at which you lose d- decreases after two days, but it doesn't decrease that much um, for the remaining five days. But, uh, but for, so for, in this fast though, I've lost quite a bit so far. I don't I don't expect it will continue at this rate. Anyway, so I weigh. Sorry, I'm going a little off topic. I weigh 176 pounds now. Um, now, if I hadn't fasted as many times as I have, for those that didn't see the long video that precedes this, I fasted. Uh, you know, for like uh, I don't know how many times, I, but I fasted for a year and a half, something like that. And I fasted when I was younger as well. But the important thing is I fasted consecutively every every few months for a while. When you do that, after about the fourth or fifth fast, it gets really much easier in terms of the, both in terms of the desire to eat food and in terms of your actual energy during the day. So I'm not going to tell you guys about what happens later in the fast. Throughout these video series, I'm going to tell you what happens by that point. So I'm going to try to make a video every two days instead of every single day, because I'll have more to say. So usually what happens is, before the first fast I did in a long time since I was a teenager, which was a couple a year and something ago, I noticed that I was very hungry the first day. Even though I was used to at the time eating for a smaller portion of my day, by the time that time came, I got very hungry. And in fact, before that even, I got hungry, just knowing that I wasn't eating, that I had a kind of restriction. So for other people going through their first day, they may feel like they want to eat. It, or they may even feel hunger. Um, and this continues for the second day. So I finished already the second day, so I'm gonna update, update you on those two. Usually you would feel hungry and like you want to eat for two days. Now there are some ways to deal with this. Uh, one of the easiest ways is to drink uh, coffee, which is an appetite suppressant. Um, but you could also, uh, I've learned something interesting about coffee today, I should mention. Uh, it turns out coffee is an antagonist of the glycine receptor in the brain, which is an inhibitory new, uh, receptor that is often found with GABA. I had no idea about this. I just thought it was an uh, uh, antagonist of uh, adenosine, which is a sleep-related uh, hormone. Anyway, the point is, um, so you could drink some coffee, which uh, suppresses your appetite, sort of a trick, or use another stimulant. Um, but you could also... Uh, you know, usually in the first couple of days you don't really need this, but later on people want to taste something. Going on a pure water fast is much harder because your mouth gets, you get bored of not tasting anything for days. So a lot of people use teas or coffees. Uh, Given what I said in the first video, you guys understand that I think that this 
probably has no relation, no impact on the health outcomes of the fast, so there's no reason not to do it. Um, but also, to be honest with you, although I don't drink um, like diet beverages, I, I really like Diet 7-Up and Diet Sprite. I don't drink them normally, and I didn't drink them for most, almost all of my fasts for a long time. The reason why I don't mainly is because I don't eat processed foods at all, and I there's a there's a I have a video on this called uh, it's just search for any energy drinks on my channel. I'll try to link it here somewhere. But the important thing is that it causes some dysbiosis in the microbiome. So this is the main concern that I have about it. But uh, I've decided on this fast, uh, and I did also in my last fast, to start drinking Diet 7-Up again. So I don't drink much of it, but it's, it's very, you know, it relieves your boredom in terms of taste. So you can do that, you can suppress your appetite a little bit. But the first couple of days when you first start, you're going to be hungry. And more than being hungry, it depends how much you eat normally. It depends also on your, how, uh, as I mentioned before, if you're already in a ketogenic state, you'll be far less hungry. But the first two days is when you're getting in your ketogenic state. So in that time period, your body's starving. If you're used to glucose, your body's starving for glucose. It sends you signals that you, that you need glucose. And then you also have your addiction to food, which is, to me, the major issue. But for some people, they may also have that glucose issue. Um, but, uh, so, or, you know, or anyway, so I won't get into details. But the point is, the, for me, the addiction to food is the main concern. So you, I have a habituation to food like everybody else does. So I eat at certain times of the day or I eat after certain things. So for example, today I just uh, interviewed Dean St. Mart who's a chemist and a bodybuilding coach, by the way. Um, I've discovered he is the second bodybuilding coach that I know of now that is health conscious and has good rationale for um, the way he thinks about various things. It was a really enjoyable discussion. You guys should look forward to the podcast. But the point is, usually after I finish my podcast, I eat something. So today I finished my podcast and I, that's the only time in the last two days that I felt at all hungry. For a second I thought, oh, I could, and then I, I forgot about it. But so it's not big, it's not, to me, I'm, I'm very used to it. I've done so many of these that I usually don't get hungry. To be honest, I usually don't get really, I don't get hungry until, until I finish the fast. I usually just decide to stop the fast on the fifth day because I've reached the time where I think it's enough to fast. And, you know, I don't, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm almost never hungry when I break the fast anymore. But in the first couple of fasts, I was hungry on the fifth day when I broke my fast. So there's a big change. So basically there's the addiction uh, to food, the habituation to food, and there is the, uh, you know, the glucose thing dynamic where you, your body is getting used to using fats instead of sugar. And as that happens, that happens by the end of the second day for sure. So after the second day, which I'll update you on later, but I'm technically on my third day, so I can tell you it, it gets way better. Even, even the first time you do it. You stop being physically hungry. And then comes another part of the fast, which I'll get to in my next discussion. I just want to update you on a couple more things. So, okay, I've updated you on everything except one thing. So basically, my uh, wife, Lucy, is also fasting. But what she's doing, so she usually fasts the five-day fast just like me. And in fact, she fasts sometimes for one or two days on her own as well. She's very, she's an avid faster. But uh, what she's doing, she, of course, she, she doesn't want to do the really extended fast because there's, we're not doing it for health reasons. So what she, but what she's going to do to give me company is she's going to fast for a week, I think, a week fully. And then she's going to fast using Walter Longo's fasting mimicking diet for the remaining period that I fast. I don't know if she can go that far. I don't think it'll be healthy, but, um, but she's, going to, she's going to go. Wait, she doesn't have an end date, but she's going to try it. And uh, the interesting thing is that she's making a YouTube video about it. So I'm really excited for this. I was always telling her she should make YouTube videos. She has a lot of great advice and um, experience and, uh, a great, you know, of course I'm biased. She's my wife, but I, I think she has a great personality and stuff. So I, I was always encouraging her to make YouTube videos and she's finally, uh, you know, uh, bit the bullet. I think that's the term. And so she's made a couple. So she's making one every day, but she hasn't uploaded them yet to her channel. So if her channel is open by now, I'll put a link in the, or I'll mention her channel name or put a link in the video description and I'll put it in the comment section below so you guys can follow her and support her as well. I would really appreciate that. So because, you know, when you first start your YouTube channel, it's the most awkward phase because there's, you know, <laughs> there's like 20 people watching it who are just your friends. So 
Uh, anyway, that's my update for today. Basically, I have nothing to say. It's like the way I really feel. I was trying to tell you guys how you feel when you first start. You'll be hungry and all that stuff. For me, I feel like I haven't even begun the fast. I don't feel anything. Now, part of it is because probably I ate that many carbs. But even in the last two or three fasts that I had, especially the last two, which are more recent, I know that I was not at all hungry in the second day. Or, th or And I'm not at all tired either. It hasn't affected my brain function at all. I have no less energy. To be honest though, it was a little weird. Yesterday I was slightly lightheaded when I was walking my dogs. But um, I don't really know why. That didn't happen the last two fasts and it's not happening right now. So basically I feel totally normal. No nothing's going on. Oh, another thing I should mention. We have a Reddit uh, thread now f to support each other fasting, which Morning Iron opened. And he's going to fast, I think, starting Monday as well. So if any of, any of you also want to fast and want to support each other, go comment on the Reddit thread. And I'm commenting there as well. And I'll update you guys in about two days and let you know how it's going then. Probably I'll still be fine, but I'll tell you guys how it would go if, if you're new to it. Um, oh, I should mention supplements. So to be honest, I haven't taken any uh, supplements yet until this morning. This morning I took my normal morning supplements. Uh, with magnesium and uh, but I just took my normal morning I have I take a lot of supplements a lot of phytochemicals cert one activators uh, probiotics normally but as I said I'm not taking those uh, fish oil um, minerals vitamins so all, all kinds of things so I took my morning supplements as as usual I didn't really notice an effect of it. I didn't take it yesterday just because what I do with my supplements, this is really off topic, but what I do with my supplements is I usually, uh, I have like, um, I use my old prescription bottles, which is why really somebody should make a product where you can store a lot of your supplements that's big because all these, the pill boxes are too small. Anyway, I put mine in my prescription bottles from my pharmacy and I have like uh, two or three of them per day. So I usually have prepared them for the week ahead of time, but I had finished my preparation yesterday and I didn't have time, so I just didn't take them. But today I prepared them again, so I started with my supplements again. That's all I have. Those are all the updates. Obviously, I'm not exercising, no bike, no gym, um, and my knee is still a bit odd, so I'm not exercising. So that's all the updates. I'll tell you guys what's going on in a couple more days, but it's going to get really interesting. I'll keep updating you guys on what would happen if it was you, but it's going to get probably more interesting after the seventh day or so, because to me that's unknown territory and I have no idea what to expect. So thank you guys for listening and we'll see you next time.